My name is Greg Schmalley. I'm a pediatric orthopedist at Seattle Children's Hospital. The exam begins by establishing that there's full knee extension and it's symmetric. And then I'll do the whole exam on the uninjured knee. Check uh, for stability to anterior posterior to valerus and valgus stresses. Uh, and then check the menisci with the McMurray's maneuver. I'll then go to the injured knee, the operative knee in this case, and do a Lachman's exam. Notice the excursion of the tibia anteriorly on the femur because of the deficient anterior cruciate ligament. Then I'll do a pivot shift exam. So with loading, a valgus stress, uh, the tibia goes from subluxated to reduced. Subluxated to reduced with a uh, clunk. We'll see two views of this. Again, I'm internally rotating, loading with a valgus stress. It goes from subluxated to reduced. Here's a repeat of the Lachman's, the pivot shift, and then I'll check for stability to varus and valgus stress in full extension, and then about 20 degrees in knee flexion. Check a posterior drawer, and then see if there's any clicking or clunking with McMurray's maneuver. The Lachman's is repeated. Notice the increased excursion of the tibia on the femur. The pivot shift shows the tibia going from subluxated to reduced with knee flexion. Stresses are placed to the knee in varus and valgus. Varus and valgus with mild flexion and then a posterior drawer shows no increased excursion. Flexion rotation, feeling for a clunk, tests for meniscus pathology. Thank you for watching.